What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans? Today I'm here to talk about Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi 2. Now guys, Ultimate Tenkaichi 1 had so much potential to be a great game. It's a good game, but nevertheless it's not a great game. Now, uh, my personal wish list if they were to ever create a Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi 2 would be a lot more characters. This game had such little characters it reminded me of Budokai. Now, the overall cinematics, as you can see right now, are completely amazing. The graphics are amazing. They had potential with the uh, create a character mode, but, you know, they did what they did. So, I mean, they could have done a much better job. But in, the first thing I would ask for them to do is include more characters. Include Baby. Include Super 17. Include, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Include some what-if characters as well, like Hatchak or maybe even... um. You know, Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. See, that would be awesome. That Those are things that would keep the franchise going. Now, another one of my complaints are a better overall customization for your character. Now, what I mean by that is we want more customization for our own Dragon Ball Z characters. Rather than being just the Saiyan, I think I speak for everybody when I say we want other races uh, as well. We want to pick, uh, you know, possibly a uh, option of androids, Majins, uh, you know, Namekians, you know, Namics, what, like, whatever, you know what I mean? Just give us more options to choose different kind of races, not just Saiyans. Um, I feel like every single race should have their own unique customization option, but uh, nevertheless, just give us a much bigger variety of uh, customization for the characters, you know. You know, we want to pick how long our hair is going to be, we want to pick what color we want, we want to pick if we want to have one glove or two gloves, you know what I mean? We want to pick if we want to have facial hair or whatnot. See, that's those are the keys to, be, to making a great game because customization nowadays, it's a huge thing, especially in the gaming community because everybody wants to create their own thing. Um, also, guys, uh, the, the number one thing that I would ask for these companies to put inside the next game will be uh, the option to create your own finisher. See, that would be amazing. You can customize the color of the uh, beam. You can customize if you want lightning on your character. You can customize if you want like, you know, a little halo above your character's head. You know, just give us a bigger customization option. We want to create our own Dragon Ball Z universe. It's amazing to see, you know, all these... Uh, other characters from the other series, you know, incorporated in the game, but we want to make, we want to see if our characters can hang with those characters, like, you know what I mean? If the community's creations can hang with the original guys, you know what I mean? Um, another thing I would ask for them to do is, um, make a better multiplayer game, uh, just allow the servers to run a lot smoother, run a, uh, allow the servers to run a lot better, um, if possible, you, you know, do what they did for the, uh, PSP Dragon Ball Z game, and make it so that if you're gonna have maybe three or four characters in the game they can all brawl at the exact same time you know like a triple threat sort of say for example you can have super vegeto versus kid boo versus gogeta in one match so like you get to pick your targeting system or who, who you want to fight first you know if those two are duking it out whether you want to interrupt or not like you know what i mean make the cinematics more dynamic make us give us a much bigger option to fight because that's what i feel like is going to make a successful dragon ball z game a very very successful one if that but uh, guys, let me know in the comment section below on your thoughts and opinions on what I've just stated, whether you agree or disagree. Uh, if you guys agree with what I said, please give this video a like. Um, it's just Dragon Ball Z, you know, Ultimate Tenkaichi was like the last game, I think, before the HD collection. But certainly it was a great game with so much potential, but then it just started diminishing from there. Once you beat the game, it started to become one of those games that you're not going to play anymore. So I still play it because I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, and I feel like a lot of you out there still do play it because you're Dragon Ball Z fans. But... That's just my opinion, you know, we want more better uh, cinematics, uh, a much bigger, you know, option to explore and whatnot, you know, just make it like Raging Blast in a sense, where like you're able to free roam around the map, but not so much so, you know what I mean? But uh, that's it for today, everybody, I'm Unwritten Hame Gaming signing off, if you guys agree with what I said, please give this video a like, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, and updates, uh, on that note everybody, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and uh, if you guys agree, let me know what you guys think. And on that note, guys, stay tuned. I hope they listen to us because we want more. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.